Hi, I'm Pat Maher with ASIC Building Products. Today I'm going to go through the Double Dare and show you some of the attributes of the ASIC Deck Board. First thing you'll notice when you pick up a sample of ASIC Deck and a sample of any composite on the market is the weight difference. Well, ASIC Deck is about a third lighter than most composites on the market. That's due to the lack of wood flour that's in the ASIC Deck Boards. Most composites contain about 50% untreated wood flour. This translates to a contractor um, when they're carrying material on a job site. They can carry three ASEC deck boards for every one composite deck board that they might be carrying. First thing we look at from a homeowner standpoint is the staining of the product. Spray ketchup on our samples of composite treated and ASEC deck. We spray on some cooking spray that represents grease from a grill or a spilled hamburger. Immediately wipe off the stain off the composite board and off the treated boards. And you can see that those stains are in the board. They're not gonna dry up and go away. Once they soak down into that wood flour, they're there to stay. With ASIC deck, come back, wipe the stains off, and the stains are gone. Because we have no wood flour in the boards, there's no place for a stain to soak down and embed itself into the boards. Again, going back to the wood that's in these boards, mold and mildew, when they get on the surface, they can get on the surface of any product, but once they get on the surface of a composite or a treated deck board, they'll actually find a home and a place to grow and live on those deck boards. They'll wick down into the board and attach themselves to the board. With Azek deck, there's no wood flour in there. There's no place for that mold and mildew to attach itself. It's just gonna be on the surface and be easily cleaned off with soap and water. Next thing from a homeowner or a contractor standpoint is scratching. As you can see, when I use a key to scratch across the surface of a composite deck board, it doesn't take much effort to put a scratch into the surface. This can be dog nails, lawn furniture, or even contractor tools being carried across the surface of the deck. With the treated board as well, it's very easily scratched just by putting light pressure on it. With the ASIC deck, I can use the key to scratch across the surface much more aggressively. And the scratches aren't in the surface of the board. With composites, it's usually required that you pre-drill before you face screw. If you don't pre-drill, you can definitely get the splits and the mushrooms. Same thing with a treated deck board. If you don't pre-drill, you can see what happens with the splitting. With ASIC deck, no pre-drilling required. You can go right down on the edge. What this allows you to do also is put your boards over a single joist when you're butting ends together. Uh, you don't need to double joist because you can get those screws on a single joist line. Again, I'm Pat Maher from ASIC Building Products. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at ASIC.com.